Everyone's been talking about the Moritala Mohammed International Airport Terminal 2 and I recently visited so I thought it was a perfect opportunity to give you a walk through. Let's see what all the hype is all about. Welcome fellow travelers to the all new Terminal 2 which has risen like a phoenix from the ashes of a fire that engulfed part of Terminal 1. We're here to help you master the use of all the facilities explore the latest upgrades and guide you through the twists and turns of this modern terminal. Only people with boarding pass that have access. No more going through security anymore once they pass through this side. So if you're planning a trip through this airport, you're in for a treat. And what I'm about to show you will captivate you. Now, let's get you familiar with this brand new airport, which to so many of us it is because this is the first time so many people will be making use of this terminal. So, let's make navigation very easy for you. And we'll start right in front of Terminal 2. They have only one entrance, and this place used to be the drop off point. With the volume of the passengers that are now making use of this terminal, they decided to move the drop off point out. Now, this is where passengers get dropped off. If you're flying out of here, double check if your airline operates from the Terminal 2, that is this terminal or the old one, which is now called Terminal 1. As you enter, you'll find yourself in this hall. It's spacious, but not that big, but can contain you, all right? So you pass your luggage through the scanner. You're gonna see the normal security guys that you meet first when you're going into the airport, and they're gonna check your luggage to see whether you are conforming to the international standard of things to take and things not to take when you're traveling out of the country, all right? So you have the immigration, then you have the quarantine department. They are gonna check your luggage, so be careful what you pack in your bag and make sure that you are the one that packs your luggage. So I'm going to go talk to the quarantine department. We inspect whatever food items that you have and ensure that that food is free of waste and disease. And then because of the quantity you are carrying, if you are carrying food in small quantity, after the inspection, I will say that it's well packed, well dry, we allow it to go. But if you are carrying as a total kg, you pay a user fee the problem which is just 2,000 naira for certification. If it's up to 25 kg up, yes. you pay 2,000 naira. user fee. A user fee. It's yes. very official. Yes. Meat, yes. donkey skin, yes. it could be fried, but no. you can allow it. We don't allow, we don't allow it, allow it at, all. at all. At all. Whether fried or cooked, Whether fried or, cooked or frozen, yes. it is not allowed. Nigerians love Pomo too much. So, <laughs> shame. So you can't travel with your Pomo. So you know, taking frozen life. Life snail out of the country is not allowed. If you're traveling and you have live snail, it doesn't matter whether it's frozen, please get it out, get it fried, and then you can now take it out of the country. After that is done, and if you're cleared, then please keep your eyes on the signs pointing to the departure. So, we are in here. Everything is open and it's so spaced out. But one thing is that passengers usually do get confused, even me, because there's a way this airport is constructed, right? Passengers have troubles finding their airlines or even their departure gates, mixing it up with arrival. So don't make this mistake. This is arrival and going up is departure. But another thing that takes passengers here is because they only have one bureau de change in this terminal for now. So departing passengers most of the times have to get in here to get their money changed. But they are finishing the process of having another one upstairs so that departing passengers will no longer have access to the arrival hall. Now let's head into the departures itself. And it's either you take the escalator or you take the lift. If you have luggage, then you can use the lift. Once you come in here, I don't know what to do or how to move around, then this is your best place. They have customer service desk. Where are your questions about how to navigate through this airport or any problem that you have at this airport will be answered. Hi, good afternoon. The lounge is our fan customer service. If you have complaints or inquiries, or here there are people that are top priority. So the people eligible to sit in the lounge are pregnant women, nursing mothers, people with disabilities, the elderly, and the sick passengers are the ones eligible to sit in the lounge. So once the check-in counter opens, we send them to the check-in counter. Then they check in and proceed to the boarding gate. Once they go and check in, we have enough space for others to come in because most of the airlines, they don't check in at the same time. So once a set goes in, another set comes in. That's the way it is. 
you can miss this particular place is a lounge. This lounge is a protocol lounge for Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria and they use it as a holding point to provide protocol services for the corporate organizations that registered under them. They have only one in this terminal. Freight passengers like you and I are not allowed to access this lounge. It's strictly for corporate clients of protocol department of Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria. And when I even asked them, they said they are processing the one that can handle passengers. You know, this airport is, is just being put to use now. So they are beginning to find where passengers need help and they will eventually incorporate everything together. And it's really beautiful, it's cozy. I, though I find it a little bit noisy. The check-in hall is nothing short of beautiful. This is a million dollar facility that is sure to impress. If you have been to this terminal before, you will notice that this is not the way the airport used to be. A lot of things have changed. Yes, there used to be artworks here and there, a lot of beautiful decorations. Now everything has been taken down to create more room for passengers to navigate around. Because more airlines are now using this terminal. But if this is your first time of seeing or passing through this terminal, you ain't gonna miss anything. As you know, Terminal 1 experienced a fire incident. This led to a major shift. Airlines were forced to move to this gleaming new Terminal 2. Initially, only a handful of airlines operated from here due to some limitations, which I'm not you know, here to talk about. But now, we have a swarm of airlines serving you. Now, full operation has commenced. Currently, more than 12 airlines are operating from here, with orders scheduled to move in later this year. And the amazing thing here is that out of these airlines, we have newcomers. We have Ebom Air that just already commenced regional flight to Ghana. They have a space here so you can fly to Ghana on board in Bon Air right from here and also we have Ugandan Airline this is their residence as well congratulations to both airlines you have 60 checking counters and also they have checking kiosks but they have not started making use of it it has been deployed here a long time ago and then we're still waiting for airlines to queue into the system so that passengers can start making use of it the only airline that have queued into the system here is turkish airline but other airlines i don't know what they are still waiting for normally what you eat see and drink are usually past security now they have one that is right at the departure hall a kiosk here where you can get something to eat at least and they also have a pharmaceutical store here and this is very good if you want to better secure your luggage they also have a luggage wrapping corner where you can go wrap your luggage in lagos here it costs 1500 to get one bag wrapped they have the convenience room by the side and they also have for passengers living with disability and the people working here take good care of this section they keep it clean so moving forward i can't go in so it's only people with boarding pass that have access you will also find a newly installed e-gate. These are part of the new facilities, upgraded facilities to enhance travelers' journey. It used to be a passport control area. Okay, go, go. Passengers are just being introduced to this new facility, so let's go see how it works. First of all, this is a boarding pass. And this boarding pass is the only thing that grants access through this exit. And through the boarding pass, if you look at it, there's a code. There's always a code on each boarding pass. Okay. So it's the code you place on the scanner. There's a scanner here. Look at this place, mommy. This place is only light. So that's why this is the place you are going to scan it. Once you place the, this thing there, the door will open automatically. So just give it a so try. This is the one I'm going to place. This is the code you are going to scan. You must All place right. the code on the scanner. Okay. Okay, that's all. Hello, mom. <laughs> oh my, she left her boarding pass. That is the thing here. If you leave your boarding pass behind, it starts Hello, beeping mom. to alert the passport control agent here. So the woman just passed and left her boarding pass and she's not just the only one. So many passengers have done the same thing. So be careful, make sure you pick your boarding pass once the gate opens for you. So when you pass through the e-gate and get into the immigration, now you get into the security. Check out their security scanning machine. They have even deployed a new enhanced security scanning machine. This is longer, which means it can now process more passengers during peak period. 
the airport has really upgraded it's now time to go to your boarding gate but for some of you that have a lounge access now it is time to go to your different lounges but before that let's check out the boarding gate of terminal 2 unfortunately no much people at the boarding gate the peak times are on Fridays and Sundays and you can get anything to eat here there's nothing being sold there it's an empty boarding gate you have an option of eating at the departure hall or when you're done through security if you feel that you still have time then they have two restaurants at the boat end after security This place is brimming with potential. As with any transformative project, there are certain aspects that are yet to be unveiled. Why the duty-free shops are yet to open, the art shop is already up and running, ready to offer you delightful souvenirs. Think of it as an opportunity to take a piece of Nigeria with you. They also have a prayer room for the Muslim brothers. So let's check out the site and see the facilities they have. From here, you can see the ramp. There's a lounge here. They have hotels here, food and drink. They have a restaurant here as well. And this is a playground for children to burn off some energy after security. Though the airport has got a lot of CCTV to monitor whatever activities that's happening at the airport. But still, I would not advise you to leave your ward unattended. Okay, so now we're going to go. This is a restaurant. Things remember if you're interested in things remembered food they also have a place here all right after you have passed through security so i'm going to go up to see the lounges passengers living with disability can take the lifts so let's dive right into the luxury vibes this is a lounge here the lounge is locked and this is another lounge they actually have two lounges here and they have a hotel reception here and for this passport control, they have it too. One at this end and one at the other end. Now let's check out the other side. They have restaurants here as well. And here they have also two lounges, but only one is operational. So it's only one lounge that serves the whole of the airport. But if you're craving a peaceful escape, Atelier Lounge has got you covered. It's such a beautiful, beautiful environment so this is it it takes care of the business and first class passengers and also they can take in other passengers but bear in mind that priority goes to the passengers of the airlines they serve though i'm not flying today but i have the opportunity of sitting down and talking with the owner while sipping on my chai latte i hope i got the name correctly this lounge is beautiful i love the air and then you have it overlooking the ram which might be the main attraction for lots of passengers mm -hmm. that might not just sit there and sip on their chai latte and then watch a plane land and take off. I can see their aircraft when it's ready to board. Which airlines do you service here that make use yes, of your lounge at the moment? So we are partnered with Royal Air Morocco. Okay. Then we have our Sky. And then we're also partner with Air Peace International. I know we're in talks with some other airlines. Yeah, I mean, everything is, uh, that's new is new always, is always beautiful. beautiful. I came back into the country about uh, last week, that mm. was, and I, I was fortunate to this to land into this new terminal, terminal. so it was all okay. Okay. No issues. All right. More okay. seamless, Very and that's what it is. Travel should be seamless. Seamless. After you get. You know, long flight, you're tired and you just want to get going. Mm. As soon as you land, you want your back to come up quickly and for you just to get going. You missed your way? Where are you going to? As we explore this upgrades, connectivity is paramount and Terminal 2 excels in this regard. But what I'm about to show you next will truly captivate you. Passengers that have their flight at the Terminal 1 also can board from here, do all the security check from here and they just go straight to the Terminal 1, that's the old terminal, just straight to their boarding gate. No more going through security anymore once they pass through this side. So I don't actually know how that works. I'm going to go check it out so that I can understand how it works. Okay. All right. Wow. So this is a very closer look, very beautiful look. 
I can see a piece of Bina. I don't know where it is going to. Egypt Air just left now, you know. So this is the ramp. It is uh, not as big. Even from here, let me see. What do they have here? Uh, nothing much happening here. Travel safe and welcome. Beautifully constructed walkways seamlessly link the new and old terminal, making your transition effortless. And it's refreshing to see the walkway depicting the wallpaper from different geographical regions of Nigeria, creating a relaxed atmosphere. And it is absolutely beautiful and refreshing. The fortunate thing is that passengers are so much in a hurry that they don't even have time to appreciate all these beautiful parts or look out through those big windows and have a beautiful view but most of the times they are always in a hurry because they are confused even i was confused initially because i didn't even know there's a link between both terminals i'm highly impressed they've been able to come up with this it's amazing so once you come in this is the old terminal renovation will soon be on i think they're going to be doing it in parts actually that's nice <laughs> but lights are still blinking hello I'm sure really gonna miss this terminal. It has served us well. A lot of memories attached here. But a lot of people will disagree with me. I think we'll just call this uh, the rebirth of, you know, of the whole airport experience. Okay. Because I'd, I've not met anybody that has said anything good about, about the experience. Yes. They will complain about the baggage, basically, the belt where mm. your, you know, suitcases, you know, uh, lands, it was always one or the other challenge. Yeah, I think of day, then, uh, You're not going to miss it? No. <laughs> and there you have it. The new and improved Lagos International Airport Terminal 2 is a breathtaking upgrade, a night and day improvement over the old one, that is Terminal 1. While passengers may experience some initial confusion due to the terminal relocation and new upgraded facilities, we have shown you how to navigate the terminal and master those facilities. But I will appreciate it if airport staff are well trained and knowledgeable about the terminal layout they should be able to assist passengers with directions and information. I encourage the passengers arrive at the airport a little earlier than usual to allow time for navigation and any unforeseen circumstances. But I know that over time, as passengers become more familiar with the new terminal, the initial confusion is likely to decrease. Change can be disorienting, but with the right measures in place, passengers will soon find it easier to navigate this beautiful terminal at Lagos International Airport. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Safe travels.